What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another gameplay video. Now this ties in with the test that I'm doing. I'm basically testing three games out. Minecraft, Pokemon White 2 or Black 2, and um, Grand Theft Auto, Ballad of Gay Tony. And I'm just going to have three videos uploaded today of me playing through three of those. And I want you guys to tell me which one you enjoy more. So now we're moving on to Minecraft. Now I don't have to explain the history of Minecraft. You, already, you guys already know what the hell this is all about. But basically, Yep, I'm subject to it as well. So I want to play through this and see what you guys think about it, if you like it or not. And if you do feel what my play style is with it, then you can feel free to tell me to keep on going. I mean, I can do so with all of these games, really. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, as long as I do something that you guys enjoy. So that's why I want to give you some options. And I think Minecraft, Pokemon, and Grand Theft Auto are some pretty damn diverse options. So at least I have them all out there. So. And also, if you do have a game that you want to recommend yourself, then please, by all means, feel free. But thanks to my awesome computer, my, ugh, my awesome computer, I can have Minecraft running at maximum settings, along with every other game that I have, with Fraps running in the background, and a video rendering in the background, and a video uploading, although that doesn't really take processing power. But, yeah, so, I mean, I can play games really, really well. As you guys can see, everything is pretty much on max here. We got um, max FPS. Everything's maxed out. So I'm going to actually split this up. I have my own world, Planet Freedom, and um, I also have a world that, actually no, I just have Planet Freedom. So I'm going to actually make two videos. This first one, actually in terms of the test, all the videos are going to be twos. So I'll have two Grand Theft Auto videos, two Minecraft videos, and two Pokemon, white two, black two videos. So uh, first video, I suppose I'll just do multiplayer and I'll just solo it out. So. I played Minecraft before though, so this is nothing really new here. I said play multiplayer and solo it out. What the hell was I saying? Anyway, so I'm just going to show you guys my world and I'm going to play through it a little bit now and I'm going to let you know what the details are and what my goals are here with this whole thing. So now, here we go. You're looking at Etika's world playing Minecraft. So as you guys can see, I'm inside of a cave, but this isn't exactly a normal world. And as you could already tell by now, with the big red phallus is poking out of the ground, that this is a mushroom biome. And I lucked out finding this thing, actually, because I was playing Minecraft, and I always felt that there was a mystery behind Minecraft. So I actually didn't know anything about the mushroom biome until I was like, you know what? Let me just sail on the ocean in one direction for, like, miles. And so that's basically what I did. Now, considering that the game, um, you, I was spawned at location X negative 1,000, I believe. So if I pull up the statistics now, you're going to see that we're actually at X um, positive 7,291. So I sailed extremely far, extremely far to get here. In terms of how long I sailed, I must have sailed for about um, two hours in real world time in the ocean in Minecraft. So it took me a really long time. I didn't even know this place existed. I just randomly found it and I was like, oh shit, and monsters don't spawn here. So I figured, hey, I might as well make this my home. But if I ever die and my spawn point is somehow messed up, then that's a wrap. But anyways, let me give you guys a little walkthrough of the place. I mean, you've probably all seen this before. This is all still relatively new to me, but I mean, it's still fun, though. I mean, now, in terms of the Minecraft thing, like, there's so many people that play this game and, like, just make so much money off of playing it and that have so many opportunities in playing it. I mean, it's just a massively popular game. And I mean, I did feel a little intimidated playing it at first because, you know, I mean, I'm just one guy. This Minecraft world has already had its anus like totally milked. So the fact that I'm playing it now, I felt like, you know, maybe it's not even my place to play it anymore. I'm just a little old YouTuber right now. But I mean, I figured I might as well give it a try. It's like customary for everybody to get into Minecraft. As long as it doesn't take over your channel like King Daddy Mac, then you're good. <laughs> and I do enjoy it for recreation sometimes. I mean, I think it's interesting, especially now that I found this mushroom place. I mean, look at these guys. They look so freaking cute. I mean, they look somewhat sinister and psychotic, but they look cute at the same time. I, I gotta Aww. say, I love the animals in Minecraft. They all have this, like, cute feeling to them. But, yeah, so let me show you guys a little bit of my stuff. As soon as I got here, I started harvesting big crops of random shit. So, as you can see here, this is my farm. I got carrots over here, potatoes over here, so this way I can make myself some nice soup if I ever need to, and make these cows fuck all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, the semen, it gets ridiculous sometimes, man. Anyways, um, also speaking of Minecraft, I mean, I recently found out that like there's some big people in the game. Like, Minecraft has a massive fan base, man. Like, it easily overshadows the Pokemon community, I think. But 
Anyway, so uh, just going into MySpace as well, um, I had to make sure that I um, made some, you know, sugar cane just to make sure that I don't fuck around and run out of resources here. Because as you guys know, the mushroom biome, you don't really have normal stuff here. So if you don't bring the stuff with you, then mm -hmm. yeah, you're, oh yeah, that's a portal to the nether, by the way. I made that there just because that island is actually not part of the mushroom biome. So all the way over there, you'll find that monsters do spawn and it's kind of hilarious because they they spawn a lot over there at that little island so that's basically my battle island the way i go there to fuck around now anyways um all these cows are here i've bred them a trillion times just because i like how they look the red aesthetic of swollen dicks with herpes just really makes my heart sore so yeah, so these guys, they're all cute as hell, though. I, I really like them a lot, you know? I mean, especially when they all start running to the wheat. I mean, that's just hilarious to me. I freaking love Minecraft, man. I mean, it's a, it's a fun game. It does, it's not the best game I've ever played, but I mean, it's fun. It's a creative game, and that's what makes it hilarious. Like, but anyway, so now you guys have seen the island. I mean, let me show you my structures, or rather. Now, actually, before I do that, let me tell you what I want to do here. My main goal in this world is to beat the game. I want to be able to gather enough resources where I can go to the land of the nether. I mean, not the land of the nether. Um, the, the ender land or whatever it's called. The end, yeah. And then beat the ender dragon. I've never done it before and I don't really um, think that I'm not too far off actually. But I do want to beat the ender dragon and beat the game. And this way I can like see the ender poem. Because I could just read it online, but I want to do it myself. All right. When I first used to play this game, you should have seen how paranoid I was of the ambient noise, because that is some disturbing shit. But anyways, yeah, so I want to beat the game, gather resources, so I've never done it before, and I really want to, so hopefully this works out. I mean, it, it looks like, from what I read, the Ender Poem is like a really big mindfuck, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what the hell that's all about. But yeah, so at least now you guys know what my goal is. So my goal here, since I don't have monsters spawning here, is to basically, and also I'm a survival whore as well, so I do all this in the means of survival. So main goal here, gather resources, enough diamonds basically, build up a bunch of powerful weapons and armor, as you guys can see I have, and then um, you do whatever it takes to get to the, um, the end, and then beat the ender dragon. So already, as you guys can see, I have some pretty damn good tools here. Um, I have a big ass dildo with unbreaking, efficiency, and fortune. So it took me a really long time to get this, really, a lot of effort. A lot of effort for all these things, actually. You know how many things I had to enchant and levels I had to get? It was a hard job. Anyway, Diamond Strip Sword with Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, nice sword. And this is the thing I'm the most proud of, because it took a lot of books and enchanting, and it was just a huge headache. I had this world for a long time now. I just don't play Minecraft too much, so I didn't really talk about it, but yeah. And finally, the Kavak Icarus bow. This bow is sinister, man. It really is just... Like, for example... Okay, then. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. You know what? But... Your remains will be forever encased in my inventory. <laughs> I love how they drop steak <laughs> when they're killed with fire. That's hilarious, man. So much detail is put into this. Block detail. Anyway, so... Now, let me just show you guys the rest of my stuff. Um, I don't really have much. Since this world is very peaceful, I didn't see any need to build a house. So what I do instead is I build these mushrooms all over the place, add more dicks around, makes it look really nice. And um, now, let me show you my um, inventory. This is basically where I keep any rare stuff I find, like the ender pearls. I know you need those to crack the enderman eyes to be able to get to the end of the game. So <laughs> I'm holding on to those diamonds as you guys can see i have a lot of those so i can actually start building my armor and like looking for anyone to kill and um also this is where i keep all my harvest stuff you know hoe saplings seeds semen you know all that stuff for cows and um yeah that pretty much is it oh and i have a secret library hidden in the sky yeah it's just a secret fucking library just hidden in the sky anyway so let me go and inform you guys you know because this this is the new thing putting libraries in the sky, man. It's gonna be like like a floating wizardry city. If you guys played Ragnarok online, you know what I'm talking about. I did make a massive land bridge, but then I realized the irrelevancy of it after my friend came into the world and died multiple times from this, so I just made a ladder. Quite simple, it makes things a lot easier. But I have a tendency of being a daredevil in this game, so I would usually try to jump off and catch the ladder last minute before I land on the ground and blow my brains out. But 
it usually never works. So I've just reduced myself to, oh, sorry about that. I've reduced myself to basically following the rules and taking things the normal way. Except for up here. I put the water down there specifically so I can fall down there really easily. Anyways, I'm gonna shoot an arrow up to defy logic. This is gonna hurt if it hits me. Oh. Cause these arrows do a lot of damage, man. But they better, cause you know, this bow was really difficult to make. And look at that, that's beautiful. And the music just makes this such a beautiful narrative. Oh man, I wish I could snipe a cow from here. <laughs> And by the way, that island, right? That's where the monsters spawn regularly. The creepers kept blowing the shit up. So that's why I'm building obsidian around it and inside of it. So this way, when I go to that island to kill regular monsters, creepers aren't just blowing the shit up on a regular basis. That's why that looks like that. I know you guys must be wondering, oh, how convenient, an uh, island made of fucking obsidian. Now nah, that's just me harvesting obsidian from underground and putting it there so this way creepers, because you know, it, it's just dirt, so whenever I would go there, sure, I would kill creepers, but the damn creepers would blow up and take like half the island with them, so I figured I might as well just make it easier for myself by like, you know, just adding some obsidian so they can't blow it up all the time, because that's the biggest headache, because you have to repair it and shit, and ugh. That's the only place regular monsters spawn, so that place is relatively important. Anyway, so I showed you guys the secret library. Now, I'm going to show you, uh, my other structures, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> Big ass dildo. Anyways, uh, let me show you my other stuff. Because, I mean, I want you guys to at least be acquainted with what I'm doing here, you know? How great would it be if... You know, oh, oh, I fell! Oh my god! Damn, cow? Damn, he just... Dude, it wasn't me. He just... He was in the way and I fell, man. You believe me, don't you? Mm. Damn, don't look at me like that, man. Don't look at me like that. Every single time this happens, you always want to treat me like I'm the one who's at fault. This is why I live down here. Anyway, so, now this is the mining thing. Now, due to a lot of things telling us about the productivity and the effort that's really well spent on um, branch mining, I decided to make a branch mine here. Now, my friend Benjiro actually helped me out with this big time as well, so much thanks to him. But he somehow has a fetish for lava, so I'm going to show you what he built in my little underground shaft here, and it's quite hilarious, actually. Okay, cobblestone, uh, all my stuff here, and some gold ingot, some resource. Damn, we have a lot of diamonds, but that's all thanks to these um, pickaxes that we happen to be able to make after leveling like fucking madmen with fortune on them. So, really good stuff here. Actually guys, I'm going to end the video right now and I'll see you in the next video, simply because I don't want it to be a huge video in one. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and have a good one.